Hey guys, um, welcome back to my um, video tutorial and to my channel. So today I would like to show you how to solve for a resultant of uh, forces on a beam. So we will solve for the resultant and its um, location on the beam. So engineering mechanics by Ferdinand L. Singer. So by the way, I am not promoting this book. I just want you to know what book I am using. So, um, page um, thirty-four. Page thirty-four. Problem two hundred thirty-six. A parallel force system acts on the lever shown in Figure P two three six. Determine the magnitude. And position of the resultant so the problem ask um, the um, magnitude of the resultant of uh, of the resultant and its position so um, the book already gives us answer which is 110 going down at 6 feet to the right of a so point a um, 6 feet so between this 60 and 20 pounds so this uh, is the location of our resultant so i will show you how the book um find the um this six feet and how we can solve for um the resultant magnitude so i already draw the problem and now we can start so First, we will find the resultant. So, um, we know that resultant is just equal to the um, su um, the summation of these um, forces. So, it is 30, 60, 20, and 40. So, 110, and it is going down. Why? Um, I mean, let me solve it again. So, so it is negative 110. So, in this problem, or in my problem in mechanics, so I am always assuming that all forces going down are negative and all forces going up are positive. So, 30, 60, and 40 is 130 minus um, 20, so it is negative 110. So 60 plus um, 20 uh, minus 40, so our resultant is just 110 pounds. So now so how we can find the um, location of our resultant? We don't know. We we already know the the magnitude of our resultant, which is 110 going down because it is a negative um, in sign. So, but we don't know if um, the resultant is here or here. We don't know it yet. But by um, applying um, moment. So, a moment of our resultant, so it is just equal to the moment of, um, the summation of moment of its components, or the forces, right? Because, um, resultant is just the summation of the forces. So now, um, I will show you two, um, two solution. Um, one is I will um, sum up moment at um, let's say this is point A and maybe here point B so we will um, we will have two solution one is um, we will um, sum up moment at point A and other is at point B so we will prove that um, um, either or wherever you will sum up moment the answer or the 
um, the resultant will, will still fall on um, the same location so first we would like to sum up moment at point A so um, 30 so moment as we know is force times distance so force 30 and the distance or our moment arm moment arm is the distance of the force to the center a uh, moment center so by the way this um um the point where we will um summing up the mom moment each of each forces uh, will um is our moment center so now um summation moment at a is equal to 30 30 times 2 so it is 2 then plus 60 times so 60 and the distance is 5 so 5 then minus 20 times 7 so maybe some of you asking how how we can um uh, how we will know if the moment is positive or it will be <coughs> a negative so first um, I will show you um, example we will have a circle here and for example this is our point A so for example this 30 why is it a positive 30 times 2 I I assume or I visualize it like this so this is 30 pounds so if the force uh, if we have a circular here or a ball and we kick it in this right uh, just right to its edge so this um, ball or circle will rotate um, clockwise so um, rotating clockwise meaning it the moment is um, positive so it, this is a positive moment then another is because this is our center moment right if ever um, our center moment is um, this point B and we have this 30 here on it, its um, left side so basically our rotation will be a counter clockwise and it will be a negative so but still if we have this um, i will make another circle here and still it's point b or the um center uh, moment center is the b so um this port here you will you uh, you will put it just right to the edge of this circle so this is 40 then the rotation still would be positive so now you know that um, if the rotation is ne negative I mean counterclockwise it is negative and if it is clockwise it is a positive moment so now um, uh, 20 then now it's 40 so it is positive 40 times um, 11 right so our moment is just equal to 30 times 2 plus 60 times 5 minus 27 plus 40 11 so we have 660 um, force times distance so found fit so now we already have we already have the resultant here which is 110 going down and a positive or a clockwise moment so we have this um formula right 
so we already have the force the 110 resultant so and the moment so we can um, derive it and um, the moment so it will be just like this so 660 per feet over 110 pounds so cancelled out and our distance is 6 feet so now it uh, this six feet is um from our moment center which in this first um solution is point a so the six feet is um six feet from point a so this is our the location of our resultant going down of 110 pounds <clears throat> so now as i said earlier i will um also sum up moment at this point and see if um the resultant will still fall in this six feet from a so this is six so now summing up moment at um, B so summation moment B excuse me so first is the 30 30 I'm going to be so now we can um, the moment is on um, the right of the force so right this is the moment and this is the force so this would be a negative a moment right so this is 30 times its distance distance of 30 to the moment center is 3 so then will I still um, uh, will I still you uh, put the 60 in my equation of course no because as as the um, formula state that force uh, moment is just equals to force times distance um, although we have force but the distance is zero right because the um, center moment is directly at the point where the force is located so the force distance is zero so basically we would um, not put that um, 60 on our equation so then 20 it is um, here the left of um, the center moment so for example it's here right so um, imagine if a ball and you kick it just to the edge so it will rotate counterclockwise so still it is negative 20 times distance of 22 um, moment center is 2 then now we have this 40 still at the left I mean up the right of B um, which is positive unlike the 20 so unlike this 20 pounds here although it is located at the right of the center moment it is negative because the rotation or um yes the rotation which the 20 pounds make is a negative um rotation or a clockwise but um this 40 pounds even though it is on the still right side just like the 20 it is on the right side of the moment center it makes a positive um rotation or a clockwise clockwise rotation so it is a positive so plus 40 and the distance of 6 so it is equals to negative negative 30 times 3 
minus 20 times 2 plus 40 times 6 we have uh, 110 110 still clockwise so now just like the here d equals to the moment so this is our new moment now in our second um, solution 110 110 over the resultant of 110 so it is 1 fifth so our answer for our second solution um, summing up moment at point B is just 1 fifth so what does it mean it means that moment uh, the resultant is um, one feet from point B so also um, how would we know if it is uh, um, from the left of B or from uh, to the right to the right of point B or to the left of point B so we can um, um, check our uh, moment if this is a negative in sign so if it is a negative then it the hour this one pit is to the left to the left of point B so if it is a positive so it is to the right of point B so thus is how you um, know if um, where is the location of our resultant <coughs> so that's all um, I will show you the whole um, solution so um, that's all so hope you learn something today and um, thank you for watching and please if you notice a mistake and error in my solution and in my explanation so um, please do comment down so um, also I will learn um, that um, or I can avoid making the same mistake again so um, hope you understand my English because I am not really flu fluent um, in speaking English so Thank you for watching and please do subscribe. Thank you.